You see that vintage looking spotlight? That's putting out a thousand watts of light to the back of her head. And that's an 8600 light that I'm gonna be using to light Diana and fill the shadows in the scene. For the sake of this photo, pretend that that spotlight is the sun hitting the back of her head. In these kind of situations, you're gonna to want to expose your camera for the bright light hitting her head so it's not completely blown out. When I did that here, her face along with the rest of the scene went dark. That's when I turn on my flash and adjust the power accordingly to get a good exposure on her face without touching any of the other settings so I can get a nice balance between the spotlight or the sun, should I say, and the strobe. Using props is a great way to enhance a theme. Diana wanted to take you back in time with those 1970s magazines and those cheap Amazon glasses. But when you photograph someone with glasses, pay close attention to the reflection they give off. It will absolutely ruin your shot. So have them tilt their chin down if the light is coming from above. Also, have the model interact with the props to really sell the image. I usually say things like, hey, now have a little fun. That's when you fire away and get some natural looking expressions, kind of like this one. A general rule in photography is the brightest part of a picture will most likely be the first thing to catch someone's attention. This is true, but here I caught a vibe when I didn't use the flash. The light totally overpowered Diana, but it gave her a nice accent glow that I liked. It's technically flawed, but I like it and she liked it and that's all that matters. Which one do you prefer and why? The natural light or the one with flash? Also, if you made it up to this point, hashtag Beard Gang in the chat because I want to see who rides with me all the way to the end of my videos because I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching and I'm out.